Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. If you live at a high altitude, does it really make a difference when you bake things like cakes, cookies, and bread? Well, yes, it does. Stay tuned and I'll tell you why and what to do about it. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Dirt Farmer Maggie and I really enjoy the kitchen. And one of the things is just baking things like cakes or cookies or bread, homemade bread. And you can look for the recipes on our website for some of the great breads that Maggie has made. However, we've all encountered this when we've opened a box mix like this, something from Betty Crocker or Krusty's or someone like Duncan Hines, and you get to the back of the box and right here it says high altitude directions. If you're above about 3,500, which is uh, 3,500 feet above mean sea level, or 1,067 meters above mean sea level. No, that doesn't mean the sea's mad at you or gonna do harm to you. It just means above average sea level. Well, what happens there? Why do you have to make these adjustments? Well, you can uh, see some of the outcomes of certain uh, baked goods that happen from time to time where you have a great result one day, and you do the same recipe another day and let's say the cake falls in the center or the cookies turn really crunchy and browned way before the time they usually do or where you think they should turn brown and the texture is all wrong. High altitude may be the culprit. What gives? How can that really make a difference? Well, it's pretty simple. At higher altitudes, the pressure, the air pressure, you want to call it barometric pressure on the surface of the batter of the dough is significantly less. Again, why does that matter? Because it changes how things bake and how some of the processes inside or progression occurs like for leavening, how something rises, how fast moisture leaves the batter and therefore raises sugar concentration or other uh, ingredient concentration and that all affects the final form. Now, as is our habit, we always give you more than we're just going to tell you in this video itself. We don't want to bore you to death, and you can go as deep as you want, but we're going to throw in some free uh, links at the bottom that send you to some great resources. I'm just going to give you the gist. This is going to give you the nitty gritty. So this resource right here is from King Arthur Flower, and it goes into detail about uh, the changes you need to make in different kinds of recipes and why you're going to do that. Again, I'll explain the basics in just a few moments. And this comes from uh, the Wheat Montana uh, Farms and Bakery, where they've got uh, some of the material that's down here give you the adjustments, the overview of why you're making adjustments, but why I included this was they have a series on the back of this or in the um, the download area there, a series of four different high altitude, uh, actually five high altitude recipes for chocolate chip cookies, banana bread, fluffy pancakes, high altitude biscuits, and then white bread that gives you a great starting point for your area. Like I said, if you're above 1,067 meters or above 3,500 foot above mean sea level, these things will really help you. Check out the links down below and it'll tell you about it. But what gives? Here's the basic idea. When you have lower air pressure on the surface of the batter, leavening is gonna act a lot faster. So uh, at a given temperature, uh, you've got it set to bake longer. Uh, and what happens, the, the leavening happens, the batter rises, but it has not been in the oven long enough uh, for the structure to be set, to be baked in. So what happens, to use just kind of a visual aid here, you get this rise, but it hasn't structure set, and then it falls, and about that point, that's where the structure sets in because it's been baked long enough. The problem is many times that's that sink in the middle of things. Or in cookies, you'll find out that moisture leaves the dough very, very quickly, and what you end up with is the sugar concentration in the dough rises. And then what happens as, is the sugar, as we know, as it gets really heated up, it caramelizes. And what happens to sugar after it's browned and then it cools? Well, it hardens up and you get this really crunchy, um, you know, cookie. Some people like that, but a lot of times we really like that soft, moist, 
you know, tear it apart dough, uh, bake dough afterwards, a cookie. And so uh, these adjustments need to make be made. So in the case of the cake, what you're going to do is raise the temperature slightly and it's given on the box or in these recipes or these guides that you're provided in the links below. You raise the temperature, but shorten the baking time. Why? Because you don't want to over bake it. You raise the temperature also so that it bakes through when that rise is right at the right point and, and locks in the structure of the batter. For cookies, what you're doing is cooking again faster uh, at a higher temperature, shortening it up so that again, the evaporation uh, doesn't have time to transpire and to change around the sugar to dough ratio and therefore to create the crunchies, okay? That's different than the munchies. So now you know the basics, but to get the particulars, be sure to follow those links before. And if you did find what we've told you to be helpful, please like the video and better yet, subscribe to our channel. And when you do, ring the bell so that you'll be notified approximately every Saturday of another great video episode about the home, the garden, the shop, the kitchen, and product reviews. And while you're at it, check out our website, at dirtfarmerj.com forward slash shop for great merchandise, including ball caps, t-shirts, and coffee mugs. And you can check out these videos. One is featuring Maggie's world famous lemon glaze cake. You're gonna love it. And the other one is one that YouTube thought was perfect for you. Well, how'd they do? Hey, until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from dirtfarmerj.com. Thanks for tuning in.